We need to come together and save our kids. A heartfelt embrace. We've seen so many murders. Between the grieving mother of 15-year-old Kevin Barbie. I don't want this to happen again. And the grandmother of Kamon Robinson, the 17-year-old who pleaded guilty to reckless homicide Monday at the Juvenile Justice Center. These are two young lives that we're talking about. and We're not here to tear down or destroy. We're here to build up our youth. The two families became linked forever by a single gunshot that rang out in the Burning Tree Apartments in Hermitage on January 28th. Witnesses told police Robinson was holding a handgun when it accidentally went off. The bullet hit and killed Barbie. I think that we need to start attacking and addressing those that are putting those guns in their hands or allowing them to have guns in their hands. Both Robinson and Barbie were students at McGavick High School, where President Obama spoke just two days after the shooting. Michelle and I have been praying for all of you in the community, and I know that all of us are sending prayers uh, to those families. Last week, Barbie's family said they wanted Robinson tried as an adult and spoke out against a potential plea deal. He'll get out when he's 19. I don't know about you, but that's an injustice. But on Monday, following Robinson's guilty plea, Barbie's mother had a change of heart. She now wants Robinson to get counseling, get a GED, and use this time to grow. I have forgiven Kimon for, for this, and I'm with his grandmother right here, so I just want to show you all that we can heal and we can move past this.